folks, what do you think about this guy? Pushing pumpkins? What's going on with him? He's kind of nuts, isn't he? Hey, did you know 75% of you watching are subscribed? What's going on there? Hit that button down below. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. Check out what we have to offer at goodworkstractors.com. If you want to see how an attachment works before you buy, we have almost 600 videos now. So take a look on our video library on YouTube and see if we have what you need. And if you're looking for a stocking stuff for idea, well, we sell affordable merchandise shipped right to you. Now we don't profit from that at all. You can buy it through a link on our website. Any of the profits that do come in, we donate those to charity. All right, I wanna see what else this guy's up to today. Folks, enjoying some warm weather under the circumstances, late November in Michigan. You know, I've been staring at these pumpkins out here that are all the leftovers in the garden. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them. You know, it's, it's amazing how hard it is to actually give away pumpkins. I, I told just about everybody I know that they're welcome to come get these. And, and anyway, everybody had their fair share and this is what was left over. I could have left them there, of course, but I was kind of thinking of next year, I wanna minimize at least the amount of competition with weeds and everything else. And I thought, well, hey, I got this pusher on the Summit tractor. It's, it's hooked up. Let's just push these things out of the way and, and get them out of here. And so that's what we did, exactly that. And so you're trying to find that, that well, fine little area hovering sort of above the ground, just barely touching it because it's a lot of soft ground. It's really uneven. So your, your loader's going up and down a lot. You don't want to drag away a bunch of dirt. So we're able to push some pumpkins and some watermelons too and get those out of the way. And so anyway, that worked pretty well. And a lot of folks are, are always asking, well, what else can you do with a snow pusher to try to help justify the cost, right? And now I have heard of folks, um, if you have a rubber edge or, well, I guess you could do it with a steel edge too, but uh, like down in, in Florida where they have hurricanes or areas where they have a lot of flooding, they'll take those pushers and, and push water with them and try to get it out of the way. Never tried that, but uh, this is something else you can do. You can push some pumpkins, didn't you know? And so we'll have more information coming on um, that snow pusher that Summit's gonna be offering. They're also gonna have a hydraulic snow plow too. Uh, the Summit tractor comes standard with the, the third function up front, so their snow plow is gonna come standard with a third function on there, or the hydraulic kit on there too, to match up with that, so you can angle it without having to get off your seat. And so then after that, we actually just got in recently a handful of attachments from Oregon Tool. Oregon Tool? No, Oregon Tool. Okay. Chris used to live in, in Oregon. And so I guess that's, he knows how to say it. So Oregon tool is uh, what we have right here, this subsoiler, and I'm gonna get you the measurement. The reason we're not using the Summit tractor is a lot of those smaller, um, the subcompacts and the smaller compacts don't have enough lift height on their three point hitch. And so that's the case with that Summit. Your 1025s, Kubota BX, um, the Kubota B2601 might be borderline, but we'll get you a measurement from the bottom of this, of this subsoiler up to where the lower three-point arms are, because that'll help you determine if this will work for your tractor or not. So check the listing for that in case we don't catch it in time to put it in the video. But we did some video last year, or maybe it was this spring, with the Dirt Dog subsoiler, a really heavy-duty one. And uh, it was my first time using one, first time buying any of them, and I uh, had a pretty good response on those. Uh, the heavy-duty ones for like, we use it on our big Kubota, you could use it on a John Deere 4 Series, Kubota large Grandel, like the L6060, um, but you get to a smaller subsoiler and, and Dirt Dog has one as well. Oregon Tool is a pairing company for Spico actually, and so they make the Spico quick hitch. They wanted to get into some other attachments, and so uh, they had these, so I figured I'd get them in and try them out, and we got a handful of these uh, to sell. It's a very simple piece of equipment, right? So it's just a lot of steel that's welded together. You wanna have a lot of bracing here for support. Um, you're really you're really taxing the equipment. You're taxing the tractor. That's why I took um, the John Deere I match off of here. Is I really wanted that direct connection to the three point hitch. And so while I'm not a farmer, I just play a farmer on TV. You know, I I'm told subsoiling in the fall is better than doing so in the spring. Um, and the idea behind that is is kind of twofold: is to break up hard pan uh, kind of near the surface, and it's to allow. A drainage to run off and get down deeper into the roots and get more moisture down deep below and let those roots really drive down into the ground too and be well rooted. I don't know if there's a right and wrong as far as how much spacing you should go or not but I just kind of use the the tire tracks as my my spacing so I, I went down a row and then I used the other tire and went over a row and kind of followed my track and repeated that process and I thought about going crisscross this way too you know and, and for this area here we did have some well, we didn't get a lot of footage of it this summer, but there was kind of those washouts, you know, where the water would want to run down this hill instead of kind of staying where you want it with the plants and everything else. And, and so that's kind of the idea behind all this too, is to catch that and not let it just run off on the surface down, uh, but 
go where you want it to go. And so there's a lot of a lot of articles out there, other folks a lot smarter than me that can tell you more about the benefits of subsoiling. And a lot of you guys are gonna do like the no-till type stuff too and want nothing to do with this also. So, you know, I don't, to do completely no-till and organic farming and, and all that with no chemicals is is a real tough go of it. And and vice versa, you know, you, you get erosion concerns and um, disruption of the soil com composition and everything else doing this. And you're gonna get both sides of the fence and. I'm not here to tell you that's right or wrong, I'm just showing you the piece of equipment. Now something I found interesting is that right near the end, uh, this hose, this top hose on our hydraulic top link completely loosened up and I don't know if that was just a coincidence or if it was because of all of the kind of the stress and strain that an attachment like this can put on um, well, a hydraulic top link for example or even the three point hitch. So I, I don't know if that was coincidental or not. If anybody else has input on that, I'd be, I'd be curious to know, but you are putting a lot of force up here. You know, you think about like a long breaker bar, if you want to uh, change a tire, you know, and you have a really long bar, well, think about how long that is right here where it's kind of has a, that much more force that's way down here to potentially jam this up or something else. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm just trying to, trying to figure it out and I'm not 100% sure. And, and maybe it was just a coincidence. And so anyway, this was more about getting out and enjoying some sunshine. We've had a lot of gloom and snow over the last week or so and cold weather too. And, and this is a nice break. I think I'm gonna actually move the garden from this area up in front of the fence and the pasture there uh, for next year and turn this area into a food plot. And, and that's kind of part of the evolution as you move to a new place and you kind of get to know the ground and the layout. And that's one of the reasons, or at least one of the reasons I like to say I, I go slow and procrastinate and you know, didn't put a fence around here already for the garden because you know maybe I was gonna move it, right? So procrastination pays. That's that's basically what I'm saying. And so I only ran the subsoiler downhill. I figured I don't want to make life more difficult running it uphill. You know, most of you folks are maybe gonna run it on fairly level ground too. But uh well, I don't know. There most of the time I could keep it fully engaged, but it would kind of start to collect some of that top material and almost this whole rail that went across here was then I felt like giving a lot of resistance. So I'd, I'd raise it up a little bit, maybe, I don't know, a couple extra inches or so, and seem to do just fine and slowly lower it back down. But uh, overall, John Deere 2038R, the John Deere 2032R, basically the same machine, six fewer horsepower, I think would do a very similar job. Uh, your Kubota, your LX series, right? Your 2610, your LX 3310, somewhere in there, you go larger like a, a John Deere um, 3E series, a John Deere 3R series, Kubota, L3560, L3301, all those models there. I'm just throwing examples. If you have a tractor that's a Mahindra, a Coyote, um, a Massey, something else, just find something comparable to those in size. And that's where it's gonna be a good fit for this. So folks, you got to see a couple of attachments for the first time on the channel today. Of course, the Oregon tool subsoiler. Uh, we're gonna have a tiller, a brush hog, a trailer mover, might be forgetting something, but there's gonna be several things we're gonna show uh, from them as well. The, the tiller looks very promising um, on there too. And then of course the, uh, the snow pusher on the summit, they're gonna offer those snow pushers and the snow plows. We'll do more information on that specifically for you. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country every day of the week. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We'd love to help you out. If you haven't subscribed yet, we want you to tag along. So hit that subscribe button down below, completely free. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.